heaven on earth, right here. Oh my god, look at this, guys. Oh, smashed it! Yo, this place is actually here. No way. What's up? Dude. Games today. Yo, look, this place is literally in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing out here. Like, all it is. We gotta get over here. Hit me with the sunscreen, y'all. It is Texas hot out here. Okay, so here's the farmland. Get out of here. Okay guys, on the agenda, man, we just rocked up. The place looks freaking sick. I wanna throw this $5 Walmart rod for you guys. It is nothing special, but we're gonna try and get some catches. What I wanna do first is throw a frog and just see if we can get some hits. I have never fished a place like this, dudes. Completely out in the backwoods, middle of nowhere, man. Let's get to catching. Get out of here. <laughs> first blow up. <laughs> I want to like walk closer to the water, but I'm actually like in it. Throw a T-rig in here, see what's up. Oh, oh God. He hit it right on the grass line. Didn't want the frog, but they'll smash the Texas rig. Do you see what is happening? It was in his mouth. I set the hook. He comes flying out of the water. There he goes. That's funny. Wow. Yeah, so we quickly found out. I don't know how to set a hook, but meanwhile, here's Adele with the first one landed. It's like Yo. Not a giant, but we'll take him. Yeah, anything. Yeah. Dark fish. I've never been there. First one in the session. This is nuts. All right, y'all. It is about to go down. We are setting up the $5 Walmart Zebco rod. This thing right here. Hopefully the reel doesn't just fall off of this thing. Hopefully I can cast it and not get a backlash. Maybe it can rip a fish through the grass, but I'm not counting on it. That's why I'm going with straight braid right here. This is, this is definitely gonna be a challenge. At the same time, I think it might get a lot of bites if I throw the right bait. So I'm expecting, a, I'm expecting a good old time out here. I just do not want a bird's nest and I know it's gonna happen. I'm gonna be casting like into the wind. What I am going to do is throw the Ketchco Baby Bull Shad. This is the Gizzard Shad. This color is like always sold out. It's hard to come by. I'm gonna get this thing in the water though. These bass should munch this. Y'all can grab these at Carl's Bait and Tackle where we save 30% on all of our gear. And y'all can do the same with the link in the description. Go give that a peep. And there we go. Now Jordan's on, man. Okay guys, here we go. Tell me that's not something to laugh at. Wish me luck, dude. Wow. This is a two-piece rod. I mean, this is so dinky. I wanna make sure my settings are cranked way up. That way I have the least amount of chance of backlashing. And I'm just gonna send this thing out there. Brakes are on three, that's probably good. Let's give this thing a run for its money. There we go. There we go. Cruising subsurface. Oh, got him up and over the grass, okay. This could work, y'all. This could literally work. I'm way out there with the baby bullshed. This rod is gonna overload if I get a bite. Y'all mind if I join the party? Right there, you and your heart. And I asked him to Oh, smashed it! Smashed it on a five dollar rod! No! Yeah, boy! <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That's the Walmart special. On the sold out color you can't buy. Ah, splash me in the face, why don't you kid? Man. All right then. Dude, I cranked it and I just stopped it at the weed edge. Oh, mate. That was cool. There we go. Oh, mission success, man. That's what we came here for. Ripped him right through the thick stuff. Look at that little path. That was dope. Just so you know, the little Zebco, it's worth the five buckaroos if y'all are curious. She didn't break yet, but let's put her through some more use. Thanks for playing, bud. We will see you on the other side. All right, we about to hit that again. Oh, he missed it. Oh, oh, hey, that was the bullshad too. Jordan is throwing the same bait, y'all. They love this thing. That might be a four pounder under there, dude. That might be a four pounder. Oh, that's a lot of grass actually. Yeah, that's a quarter pounder. He blew up. <laughs> oh my God. Well, <laughs> It I don't know what it is about these fight. fish, but they are more slippery out here at these abandoned farm ponds. I think we lost them. Doink. They're spanking it. Nice, dude. This place is stacked. Oh my gosh. Is that two for you or more? Adele's on two. Hey, it must be nice using a full-size rod. Heave! <laughs> I can almost make it across this 20-foot pond with this little rod. 
Oh! oh. Another blow up on the edge of the grass on the baby bull shed. All right, y'all, now that we have successfully completed the Walmart rod challenge, we caught something on this little combo nation right here. I'm gonna set her down and try and get some more catches for you guys because they seem to be hitting the bottom baits. And I happen to have a Texas rig right here, but this little worm doesn't tech expose quite as well as the lunker log. And I need that uh, hook to be in the body of the plastic. That way I don't get hung up on as much stuff in here. So I am doing just that, man. I'm making that switch. Watermelon red flake. This is probably one of the best, arguably one of the best colors for clear water. And that is what we're fishing. Let's get it in here. Oh. That was, that was fast. I think he's swimming towards me, dude. This one's either really good or... Oh, this one's either really good or not very good at all. I don't, I don't even know. Dude, all right. My biggest one of the night. There we go. Hit it as soon as it hit the water and took me. That was a catch right there. And he was in the grass. Look at his dark color, man. He's in the thick of it. He's just chilling for summertime. Yes, sir. Not only are we killing it on the Walmart rods, but we're killing it on the regular rods. Yeah, boy. Get back in there, son. Get back in there. If y'all hit the subscribe button right now, I'll probably get a five pounder before this vlog's over. And look, if I don't, it's all good, man, because you're now subscribed and you hit the notifications and turn them all on. So you will actually see the videos where I do catch the fives if this is not one of them. So either way, it's a win-win for you. Yep, ice white, zoom, salty, super fluke, y'all. Adele is hooking it up with the PB catcher tonight. I am going to take this weight off because we're just getting in the grass out there. I want to stay above it. And this is going to allow me to do that. Plus, I need to retie because my line is now frayed. So there's a lot of reasons why I should make this switch right now. It's going to be harder to cast than a lunker log, but we'll make it happen for a few. Oh, I thought I did two. I do. <laughs> Look at that PB right there. Dang, you are about to feast, boy. That, that fish is as big as you. The Fluky McFlukester is working, man. Ice white. Get you some at Walmart on the dirt cheap. Probably one of the most affordable fish catching rigs that will just get smashed. Get you a little hook and a super fluke and you good. Two in a row. God damn, reeling in the hogs, boys. Yes. I didn't say that five pounds had to all be in one fish, y'all. See you, bud. That's another thing about these flukes is they're uh, fairly indestructible. Cause I'm in too deep and my fluke's getting eaten. Oh, oh, yeah, he had it. Ring ding 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 ding. That was the five pounder. Couldn't even get him up to the surface. Look, it's my word against y'all's, and you guys are on the GoPro, so I know you can't see that closely. Cause I'm in too deep. I have to go back to the longer log. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dude, I have a little one pounder. Did you see that? Did you see him hitting it? No, I had the bumps. I had the measles. I had the bumps. All right, I know where they're at. Oh, bad spot. I'm going to creep right up to that tree. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's over the tree. Oh! Could have seen that coming. She done snapped me clean on the tree. <laughs> Dude, that's what I'm saying. I was right on the other side of the tree. I knew I was going to get hit. All right, y'all, we are piecing out of the farm pond. What a blast, but the bite had died down, and we think we need to just go ahead and call it quits because it is uh, also getting a little dark on us. So, whew, what a day, man. I'll show you guys this setup back at the house. I'll break down this little $5 Zebco for you guys here in just a second. I'll see you back at the casa. There's fish in here, boys. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, got him. Oh no, had him guys. We made a pit stop at one little smaller pond on the way out. Oh my gosh. The Walmart challenge is still alive y'all. There's still daylight. All right, another one across. Oh, got him, got him. I'm on, I'm on way across the pond. Keep him pinned. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a bass dude, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, on the Walmart rod. The challenge is not over yet guys, sunset. Oh! Yo, that's almost a two-pounder. 
Got him. There we go. Okay, we got him free, guys. Let's get him back in the water. Baby bullshad pulling through on the $5 combo to end the night. That is a deal. Oh, we found him in the grass, boys. Walmart's bringing it home. Yes. All right, then, buddy. See you next time. All right, y'all, and that concludes the farm pond mission. We are back at the Casa. Check us out, man. The baby bullshad put in work on this $5 Walmart rod. I'm only going to say it the one last time. If you guys want to see more funky videos, little challenges with some Walmart products, let me know what you think I should do, either with this or something different that y'all recommend off the shelf. Drop down a comment, and we will get to these things. This little guy right here, though, the, it's not going to get the job done for much, but like something with treble hooks. Look at this. It's just so flimsy. So flimsy. It's like three, four foot long, maybe. It's two pieces. It's not going to do much as far as like there's there's no there's like no sensitivity. So you almost have to use a little moving bait with treble hooks. But if you guys want to see me try something different with it, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and we'll catch you on those videos, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. <gasps>